look how close we are to him. This is our unnamed seal. <laughs> Tom's thriving right now. This is the lighthouse. The remarkable rocks picked a good adjective. Good morning, welcome to a vlog that is gonna be from Kangaroo Island. Guys, we are so excited about today. Basically, if you haven't heard of Kangaroo Island, which potentially you maybe haven't, because I feel as though it's actually quite an underrated excursion to do in Australia, just because of where it is. But it's basically located about two hours, kind of like south of Adelaide and it is i think australia's third largest island we are heading to kangaroo island on a day trip today from adelaide we have booked the bus booked the ferry we've hired a car when we get there so it's going to be a big old excursion and i am super excited to bring you along so i'll let you in on a little behind the scenes secret this has not all been smooth sailing guys there's been several hiccups before we've actually got to go on this trip so hopefully fingers crossed from now on it's gonna be all good first stop is we need to get the coach from the coach station that's gonna take us to the ferry terminal which is actually like a two hour drive away so we need to head there now if you were interested this is the current time pretty pretty early and i did get up and sort of do my hair we really need to set off because the bus goes in like 15 minutes We have just arrived on Kangaroo Island and picked up the car. It is a chilly day, I'm not gonna lie. I underestimated the weather. I kind of did dress for summer underneath this outfit because I was thinking, oh, we might go swimming. We're not going swimming, it's like Arctic. Tom has just popped into the IGA, which is the supermarket, to hopefully, fingers crossed, find an iPhone lead because we stupidly did not bring one and to connect the maps to the car, we need one. So we are gonna be setting off in a second. We've hired a four by four because you can't really drive on the roads here without one. Personally, I've never driven a car this big. Tom and I are gonna switch the driving. We've like given both of our licenses over, but I did just realize I've not driven in like five months and i think that's the longest i've ever gone without driving so i don't actually remember if i can drive joking i hope i hope i can he has returned did they not sell them they've only got one and it's thirty dollars so thirty dollars do it on our phones not been thirty dollars for a cable okay turns out we're mapping on our phones guys uh, my phone's already on 70 percent. yeah we've got char we've got a charger we don't have a charger that's the whole point no i've got a, a battery pack oh you've got your battery pack with you you know i do the wireless one no, i thought you meant this. you had your mat with you your wireless yes, charging I do. mat I do. That's not the battery pack. Anyway, guys, turns out we're not getting an iPhone lead. So the first place we were heading, guys, was a place called Seal Bay. This is pretty famous on Kangaroo Island, and we were really hoping we were going to see some seals, and we were not disappointed. Almost as soon as we got there, guys, there were so many. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so happy about this. the car the correct car tom just tried to open the car door to a car that we're not driving because he forgot what car we were in oh my gosh how amazing was that so good we literally will probably insert some pictures but this little baby one just came right up to us i managed to film um, it i think i think he was kind of showing off or like he wanted to i think he wanted to actually like see us because yeah. he, he just looked really happy and like came back right up to us apparently guys are like really sociable animals and they're not that frightened of humans but no honestly that was one of the best experiences we've done in a while i was just saying that was that's up there in the highlights of australia yeah especially when it comes to animals like they there were so many of them sometimes you do these things and you go to these like boardwalks and it's like oh you're guaranteed to see koalas you're guaranteed to see penguins and like you don't see them but there were so many seals that was just lovely tom do you want to introduce the newest member of the family this is our unnamed seal yeah which or sea lion 
Is there a difference? I'm not sure. We've just seen them all and I'm still I'm not gonna too sure. I'm going to be really stupid because it's, it's Seal Bay, but it, they're, they're, sea, sea they're sea lions. Guys, we keep buying cuddly yeah, toys. Anyway, we're not going to name him and I think it's probably going to be something beginning with S. But yeah. it doesn't necessarily have to be because we've I got think, Matt. I think Sid the seal. Sid? Yeah, he's a Sid. You think he's a Sid? I think he's a Sid. We're adding him to the collection. It's something to look back on when we're back home. Anyway, guys, we are going to head to the next location, which is a little lunch stop on the beach. So I'm driving. Who let me drive? Who put me in the driver's seat? Not happy about it. Tom's appearing for his life. I want to do it though, guys, because from next week we're going to be in a van and we do need to split that driving because it's a lot of driving. And I've not driven in five months, like I said. So. We have just stopped and bought some hot chips from somewhere that we passed um, and we actually brought with us some food to have so i got this salad yesterday and look at where we have parked up to have lunch are you joking we've just stopped at this jetty which is called vivan bay jetty there's a little camper van in front of us basically we're just on some like dirt road but the island just looks beautiful from here so we are gonna stop have some lunch and then continue on to the big national park so we're not gonna stop for that long because we are obviously doing it in a day trip so we're gonna be trying to get back to the ferry well no we're not trying to get back to the ferry we're gonna get back to the ferry at 7 30 so we're gonna head to the national park pretty much after we've eaten this is the car guys if you were interested yeah it's not bad is it I think the backdrop helps massively, yeah kind of quite cool, yeah though. for sure tom's thriving right now i've asked him to hold my stuff while we take some photos he literally has my hoodie on his hat on his hat on his head and my coat in his arm but you've done a great job i'm just a glorified <laughs> coat hanger <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Insta boyfriends be like. This is the behind the scenes that you don't see. Hey, no, we took actually, a picture. In less than 10 seconds after this, this clip finishes, she's going to be wrapped up back in all of these layers. <laughs> and yet all you see on, on Instagram is the cool, hey, cool after shot. I'm pretty honest on Instagram, but sometimes I want to show my outfit off, even when it's freezing cold, guys. Be careful with the hoodie. We are walking back along the pier. I don't know how much you can hear. Probably not much. This is a beautiful spot though guys, what I was saying was you should definitely check this out, it's a really nice place to sit and eat lunch, really great views, really blue water. So we have arrived at Flinders Chase National Park, which is actually the biggest national park here. Um, kind of like the most famous thing. If you Google things to do on Kangaroo Island, this is gonna be one that definitely comes up. It has some of the most famous like lookout points, views, things like that basically. So we're here. We are at Cape de Cordic, Cape de Cordic. I'm not actually too sure how you pronounce that, but this is what it's called. On the far west of the island, I think now. And this is the lighthouse. So glad that we've seen that. It's actually a very pretty little walkway down to it as well. And the sun has come out, guys. The weather's actually quite good now. Still chilly in the wind, but pretty sunny here he is just a wildlife photographer wildlife. true but you've perfected your squat you know when you squat down you're really good at that <laughs> hood is up <laughs> reality and this guy down here is where we're heading next Guys, when we got to the national park they handed me one of these maps because there's no phone signal and i did duke of edinburgh i have no idea how you read these like i honestly should not be the passenger right now because we've made it somehow to the last stop but oh my god i'm terrible at map reading here we go guys the final stop of the national park trip is the remarkable rocks which are these we are going to walk up to them guys but from here you can see they are pretty remarkable they've picked a good adjective they look sort of man-made it's kind of weird These are pretty cool guys. Tom gives you a sort of sense of scale as to just how big these are. There's like three or four rocks so close together. You're actually getting full shelter from the wind here, which is really nice. <sighs> That's cool. We have just come to a pub called the Penshaw Pub, which is in which is in Penshaw. Because every time I speak to the camera, you say I'm speaking <laughs> quiet, so you should be able to hear me pretty well. So we've come to the Penshaw Pub in Penshaw. But I'm gonna have fish and chips. Although I can't actually see it on the menu, but Molly said there was fish and chips. Yeah, but it's there. What's here? Hey, because yeah, we got that in bed. 
you, Virgo. The view behind you is insane. Look at the view. Is this what you do? Yeah. <laughs> Am I a natural vlogger? Yeah. And look at my view. How bad view is it? Are you going to speak or are you going to all shy? <laughs> So Do you want to speak dinner. to my vlog? Yes, uh, we were actually going to go to a restaurant called the Sunset Wine and Food. However, it turns out it's not open because it's the winter month and Google did not tell me that until we'd already set off there and then we were driving past and I was like, oh, it's closed. But I've got my lemon and lime bitters. You will not believe how many times Molly roots us to a closed place. <laughs> she does it at least once a week. <laughs> and I'm like, have you checked that it's open? She goes, yeah, well, Maps says it's open and we get there and it's closed. How is that my fault? If Max says it's open, because I'm I keep not telling you, I keep telling you to check like all that, like check Google Maps for like hours because it's better than Apple Maps, and you're just like, no. Nope. Well, anyway, so it's closed. So we'll, we'll, I'm gonna start keeping a tally, especially on the west coast of all places right. you rooters, because I bet like half of them will be closed. Anyway, we've had a good day today. We've had a lovely day. And we can't order until 5:30, so we've got a 10-minute wait, and then we're gonna go and get the ferry. Yep. Bye. We are heading back to the ferry port, guys. Uh, we've just dropped off the car. It wasn't an out of hours service. Just drop the keys off. Hold on a second, you can't bloody see me. You know what? I'm just gonna wait till I'm inside to talk to you. Guys, I am now inside. I can update you. I'm so windswept. It has been such a windy day. We just finished up having dinner, dropped the car back, and now we are waiting for the ferry. Something I will say, now that it's dark, the island is not very well lit at all. Like, there's no lights. There's, like, barely any street lights or anything, which actually is the same in Adelaide. So I don't know if that's, like, a South Australia thing. Yeah, something to note if you're coming and you're going to be driving in the dark. It's not very well lit at all. But we've dropped the car back, and we are heading back to Adelaide. Oh my gosh, guys, we are back. We have just got back from Kangaroo Island. Tom, what is the time? 22.20. 22.20. So that gives you a scale as to how long the day was. It is a really long day. I think when you book it online, actually, it says that it's like a 16-hour day trip. So that gives you a bit of a scale. I'm going to say, would I recommend doing this for a day? And do I recommend the day trip that we did? I think you definitely can see the highlights in a day. Obviously, you have got to the end of this vlog. You've seen that we have seen the highlights. However, I think if you you want to get the most out of kangaroo island and you don't want to feel like you're rushing because there were definitely times where we felt like we were a bit like let's go let's go let's go i would probably say stay overnight i didn't really do that much research into this before we went and i didn't really realize how big it actually was that's definitely something to know if you're watching this and you're planning a trip i would say one or two nights would probably be like a good amount of time you probably wouldn't need more than that i don't um, think you'd need any more than one night i think one night would be perfect actually yeah i, I think if you did if you had two days there you'd find yourself like with enough time to relax and see everything so yeah i agree with I think that be, i think two days there would be a good amount of time one yeah. night it's my little roundup my little review of kangaroo island i definitely think if you find yourself in adelaide or south australia this region generally it is worth visiting even just for the seals alone guys like tom and i really really love that experience just because we were the only ones there we we hadn't paid loads of money for that like we did pay to get into the national parks but it wasn't ridiculous and it was one of the best wildlife experiences that we have had in australia so i definitely think that that was worth it yeah i think if you're in south australia add kangaroo island to your bucket list your must do just a really great all round trip i will actually link down below guys a trip that you can do if you want to do this as part of a tour tom and i actually were looking at this but we left it very last minute because of all the cancellations with the ferries and because i messed everything up and basically we had a bit of a headache with the whole trip but if i were to do it again i would probably use get your guide to book this as a day trip which is how i usually do these things and if you are interested i will link their tours down below and you can actually get 10 percent off guys this isn't an ad this isn't anything like that but if you do want to get 10 percent off i will leave all the info that you need for that down below you can use this code on any trip doesn't have to be kangaroo island can be literally any trip on the get your guide app not just specific to this vlog and this content but I will leave all of that info below so that you can read it check it out if that sounds like you if you are planning a trip if you're planning this trip but yeah that's that's how I should have organized it yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this vlog we are ready to go to sleep now aren't we we are we are knackered <sighs> so tired guys right I shall see you in my next video where we are going to be heading to Perth bye guys I just want to let you know that um, Sid the seal is settling in really well. He's Mac Cleo the koala and Mac the dingo. It really annoys me that Mac's name doesn't begin with a D, but he's named after Lake Mackenzie. I just think it means that if we had a fourth, the fourth also isn't an alliteration. No, it has to be. No. Well, we can't have four because they're not going to fit in the bags, guys. But just to let you know, Sid's doing well. There is going to be a fourth. There's probably going to be a quokka. <gasps> Spoilers, guys. Close your ears.